our favorite animal from the book. I made a bird. I had a few more adjustments on him. I added some eyes, his beak. I put some feathers on his wings and I gave him tail feathers. So I hope you have your animal. You're going to need it for today's design challenge. Today's design challenge is going to be making a home out of materials you have at home. So we have to think about what season is our animal in? Are they in the summer, the winter, spring, or in fall? Hmm. I'm going to put my little bird in springtime. So, some of the materials I found around my house for the design challenge are a cardboard box, a ruler, some chopsticks, yarn, and we have our tools, scissors, and some tape. So, my little bird has to be able to fit into a box. So, hmm, can he fit in there yet? No, not yet. So, I'm going to try to make some room for him. Hmm. I don't know if he's going to fit in there yet. Uh, sort of, but he doesn't look much like a nest. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut part of the top off so it can fit. Remember, when you're using scissors, always have an adult around. So, here we go. so he looks a little bit more like a nest. So we're going to decorate him around. Ooh, ready? <laughs> That's always fun. All right, we're going to put some here, put some more, so it looks like a nest, which they have lots of twigs and nests. There you go. Oh, we're going to put some on the top. Uh-oh, how is it going to come out? Hmm, I wonder. I think we have to fix it. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, well. I'm gonna fix the box a little bit. Trim it up. And then we're going to try again. Remember, if it doesn't work the first time, that's okay. Give it another try. Uh-oh. The sides are all... Part. So I'm going to use my tape. I'm going to take the sides together. Make sure it stays together. So the little bird stays inside its nest. Oh, look, the birds are even trying to fly away right now. <laughs> oh. All right, so back to our nest. Let's see. All right, Mr. Bird. Put you back in your nest now. All right. So. Oh. Put them like that this time. Okay. Let's give that a try. Oh, look. There we go. Here's our twigs. Here we go. Get some of that going. In the back. Uh-oh. Well, sometimes ideas don't work. We have to try again. All right. Maybe we can stand some up. Oh. I'm even going to put my ruler back here. Help him out. So. I think it needs a little bit of yarn so he's comfy. I'm going to cut off some yarn. I'm going to put some of the yarn at the bottom. So a little over here. Now we'll put it under him. And we can put some over here. Oh, I think it's looking like a good old nest. Ah, we got two chopsticks that try to run away. So here we go. So. There you go, my friends. We have created a nest for our bird out of things we have found around our house. Design challenge activity. What kind of shelter or home would your animal need in winter, spring, summer, or fall? Choose one season and build a shelter for your animal based on the weather of that season. Post a picture of your shelter on Seesaw. Some suggested materials, paper, Legos, crayons, markers, blocks, or other materials that you have around your home. Here's a close-up of my finished product. 
the nest, and my bird. Okay, so it doesn't really look like a bird. It sort of looks like a dragon mixed with a frog. And my nest is creative. The number one thing with this activity is have fun and enjoy. Miss Catherine, Miss Robin, and I can't wait to see all of your finished activities. Hmm. So, what are you going to make? I'm really excited to see what you make. Ask your parents to upload your creations to Seesaw. Alright, hope you enjoyed